Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets TP Link tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform a firmware update on your TP Link Powerline Wi Fi range extender. So, this tutorial should work on any of the different TP Powerline range extenders, such as the AV600, the AV200, AV1000, AV1200, AV2000, and then the N300. Updating your firmware on your TP Link Powerline Wi Fi extender is important not only because it can add security features, but it also will make the connection you have through that extender more stable and maybe even faster. And while I'll be showing you this tutorial on my computer, this can actually be performed basically on any device. I've actually done it on my iPhone before, so you shouldn't have any issues with compatibility of the devices that you perform this on. Now to get started, the first thing you want to do is connect to the Wi-Fi network that's being produced from your TP-Link Powerline Wi-Fi extender. Once we're connected to the Wi-Fi being produced by our TP-Link Powerline Wi-Fi extender, we need to go to our browser and then go to tplinkplc.net and check the description because I'll have all the links I discuss as well as the detailed write-up of how to do this. So go to that address and once it loads, you'll be brought to where you need to log in. By default, the username and the password should be admin, all lowercase. But if that does not work for you, check the back of your Wi-Fi range extender because it should have the default username and password there. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. Now that we're logged into the administrator section, what we need to do is go down to the bottom here. You should see the hardware version. So you'll see the model number right here and then the version number. That's important when we're looking up the firmware software. The next thing we need to do is actually go to the TP-Link website, look up this model number, and then we'll go through some steps to download the correct firmware software for our product version. So we'll go ahead and go to the TP-Link website and check the description because I do have that link down there. Once you're here, you can either look for the model number or you can search it right here in the search all section. It should come up. So as you can see, the model number for mine is TL-WPA4220. So I'm just going to find that in this list of the Powerline Wi-Fi extenders right here, select it. And then when I load the page for my actual specific Wi-Fi range extender, I'm going to go to support. And then in support right here, you'll see, please choose hardware version. That's where that version number after the product number becomes important. So as you can see in the drop down list, they have version one, three, and four. In mine, it says version four, so I'm going to make sure that that is selected in the drop down. Now, what I need to do in this list at the bottom here, select firmware, and then it will show me all the different firmware updates that are available. So basically, what you want to do here is download the latest version based on the published date. So as you can see, this one was published April 28th, 2019. That's the latest one they have. And then down here, you can see what that firmware update includes. They added some roaming features and then they added some stability. So that's awesome. So now what I need to do is just click right here to download the actual firmware update. Now this is a zip file and we'll go through how to open that up and take the file out. So I'm just going to select it and then choose where to save it on my computer. Once the firmware has been downloaded, go ahead and extract everything in the file. So I'm just going to go to extract all on my PC, usually on any other device, including an iPhone, Android phone, or Chromebook. You can open up the zip file and then you can just copy the actual firmware update. So the .bin file, go ahead and copy it and then go back to the folder outside of the zip file and paste it. And then you would have extracted the update from the zip file. Once we have the extracted firmware update, what we need to do is go back to the admin section of our TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender, go down to system tools in the menu in the left side, and then find firmware upgrade. Go ahead and select that. Now all we need to do is select browse, find the firmware upgrade file that we just extracted, select it, and then go to upgrade. When it says, are you sure you want to update the firmware, select yes. And then it will go through the process of doing that. Now you will lose connection to your Wi-Fi range extender just because it's going to need to reboot and go through the installation process, but then you should be able to reconnect to it and we should see the firmware version updated afterwards. So just give it a couple minutes up to about maybe 10, 15 minutes for this to complete. Now, as this gets closer to completing down here, you want to make sure that whatever device you're on is still connected to the Wi-Fi network being created by the Wi-Fi range extender. So my computer actually disconnected and then connected to my home router. So what I need to do is go into my Wi-Fi settings, 
and then just connect to the Wi-Fi range extender again. And then I just need to reload the administration website for the TP-Link Wi-Fi range extender, which is TP-Link PLC.net. Then I can just log in. And then as you can see down here, the firmware version build number has changed to the exact same number of the latest firmware update. So that means the firmware upgrade has been successful. So that's how you upgrade the firmware on your TP-Link Powerline Wi-Fi range extender. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up. And please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.